Hey there, YouTube followers, Michael of Painting of War Games, and today, happy Merry, or happy holidays, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate Christmas. I've been working on the last two, or the recent two, uh, Warriors of Chaos models. I'm almost done with them. I got some cleanup I gotta do on them. Got some cleanup and I gotta do some edging still on some places. Just maybe about less than five minutes worth of work on these two guys. Um, so yeah, I mean, I did something really cool with the skulls there. I painted them white. Let's see if I can't get that to come in. Painted them white, used the uh, blood for the blood god on them. And then I did a dry brush of white to sort of bring them out a little bit. I feel like they're freshly harvested skulls and there was a little you know, there's blood on them, but some of the bones coming through, so that's what I've been doing. Um, no new or no news on the uh, miniature painting area. I, you know, the holidays are here. I've been working a lot. Um, just haven't been putting a whole lot of focus into that or the miniature brush YouTube channel. Um, next week I got three days off in a row. Uh, let's see. I have New Year's Eve and New Year's Day off, and then the day before New Year's Eve. So I have uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday off next week, which is nice. Which I will be trying to concentrate on getting all these Warriors of Chaos models. I have eight left to do, which is nice. Uh, hopefully I will be able to get some Christmas money here. Who knows? You know, who knows what's going on? Uh, the next purchase for... Uh, the, for a miniature brush will be um, trying to find them on the website. It's the it's I think it's called the Chaos Knights. Let me find out. Or the Warrior Warriors Chaos Knights one special. Yeah, Chaos Knights. Uh, I like those. I don't believe Mar I'm not going to get any Marauders uh, from what I've heard from the Sustainable Channel. And various other YouTube uh, is that Marauders and any like Marauders on Horsemen and any of that are just not worth it. So because they don't have an armor, like they don't have like a built-in good armor save. So as far as like cavalry goes, Chaos Knights, I like the models. I think they look really cool. They'll be the next uh, ones I get. There's only five in those, so those should. I mean, there's a, they are a lot more intricate because you have the horse plus the guy. But now that I have the armor color done. On the guys, you know how I have it set in stone. Um, the armor should go actually pretty good. Those or anything going forward should go pretty fast as far as armor goes. Uh, even on horses, like the Chaos Knights. Let me see. I'm turn this off. And let's see if I can. So yeah, even like the Chaos Knight himself has the armor. And then the horse has some armor too. So I might go with something that looks like that. I'm not sure. So yeah, that's going to be the next thing. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the juggernauts. Uh, let me go into the rare section. Fuck them. Uh, skull crushers of corn. Uh, they say they're not that good in the game, but man, I, I love that army. Like, I love the figures. Um, I, I just love how the figures look. Like, you know, I love just the Juggernaut. Um, and for it being a beast fast cav or a monstrous cavalry, I think I should have something like that uh, to show off. Being like, look, I can do I can do cavalry, which is going to be the Chaos Knights. Then I'll do the Skull Crushers of Corn. The only monster that these guys, the Warriors of Chaos, have that I remotely like is the Chimera. And I don't know if it's worth, like, don't get me wrong, the Slaughter Brutes, the Slaughter Brute, and the Vortex Beaks, they're really cool. They're expensive. And, you know, I shouldn't be saying anything because I'm thinking about getting Skull Crushers of Corn. But, I mean, they're, that model's almost 100 bucks, and it's like a $100 model that I probably won't use from what I've been hearing. Unless in ninth edition they get like a, a big upgrade to like beasts, you know that's kind of weird. Uh, the Chimera just looks cool. It's a three-headed winged thing, and 
um, you know, I like it, so it's probably going to get bought. I was thinking about getting a Chaos Lord, um, I can find it. Like, I don't like the standard Chaos Lord, just the generic one. Uh, the Sorcerer is really cool. But the Chaos Lord himself is not up to snuff with me. Um, except for the Corn Chaos Lord on Juggernaut. That guy's really cool, you know, he's 50 bucks. Let me see if I can find him. The Chaos Lord on Steed is really cool. He'll probably get bought. Yeah, just the generic Chaos Lord. Like, I could go buy a Chaos Space Brain Lord and probably put him on a wooden or on a square base and just call it even. Um, I mean, I like the Chaos, the the Corn Exalted Chaos Lord, but I don't know if I'm going to go with Corn. So I want to get just like a generic guy. Um, if I do get the Chaos Lord, I'm probably going to like modify him so that he looks more space brainy. Like I'll probably put a chaos space brain head on him or something, because I don't, I really don't like that head that he has, and that like that halberd that he's got is cool, but it's not something that I personally like. Um, the generic chaos sorcerer lord, that's really cool. I'm probably gonna end up getting like three or four of those, um, or maybe just two, because you know you gotta have sorcerers, you gotta have some sort of magic. So, you know this this is gonna be a buy as you go. Know, this army is going to be a lot like my Necrons. Um, I'm not going to buy the Battle Force up front. I sort of refuse to because I don't like everything in the, their Battle Force. Um, the only thing that I like in their Battle Force is that it comes with Chaos Knights and Warriors of Chaos. Um, these guys. It comes with these. Um, I still have not figured out how I'm going to rank these guys yet. Um, the initial idea is that I'm going to go five wide and like four rows deep, five rows deep maybe. Um, but I'm not sure. Like it, I am going to talk with Anne from the Sustainable Center and see how I should rank them up because uh, I don't even have the rule book. Um, I'm probably just going to go to eBay and get the miniature Eighth Edition rule book because I don't like the Blood Island set, you know. Um, Skaven seem cool, but High Elves, I, I really want to stay away from High Elves because they are one of the top tier armies. And I don't want to jump into fantasy with a top tier army at my disposal. So it's just sort of odd that, you know, I'm coming off like that. Necrons were like that. When Necrons had come out in fifth, late 5th fifth edition for uh, 40k, like everyone's like, oh, you got to get the Battle Force because it has this, uh, it has one of their transports that can be used as a heavy support or that. You can magnetize the three both, but I'm like, dude, I don't like it, and I've never owned. It's a troop transport. It's not the flyer. It's uh, one of the things, but I've never liked it, and I I have yet to buy it because of that. Um, now the Warriors of Chaos Battalion, it you know it comes with the Warriors of Chaos and the Chaos Knights. Um, it comes with well, I don't even know what the hell these things are. Um, Chaos Warhounds. I don't know if those things are good, but it comes with. Uh, 20 Chaos Marauders, and I don't want the Chaos Marauders. I, I find them junk. I, I I find them real. I like just looking at them. I'm like, man, these things are going to be a pain to paint. Um, from a perspective that their skin has six colors in it alone, so it reminds me of the orcs that I was painting for 40k. It's just like a lot of work. Um, now granted, I probably will pick up a box of Marauders down the line. And say, look, I can do flesh tones. I just don't like to. So, you know, it's going to go that route. So, all right, guys, this is Michael of Painting War Games. I'm signing out, wishing everyone a happy holidays. And as always, keep gaming.